I had to move to Spain three years ago to access cannabis for chronic pain and in that time nothing has changed so that's why I flew back from Spain to attend the demonstration today. Could you tell us a little bit about the chronic pain that you were undergoing at that time? So it started, um, I had my tonsils out when I was 17 so that was 20 years ago and um, I had really bad complications which ended up with a colostomy bag on my stomach that was supposed to be reversed years later but they found that I had precancerous cells in my rectum so that had to be removed and then the bag on my stomach became permanent but after the surgery I got MRSA and my coccyx bone was also broken so that's it was after that surgery that the chronic pain began so that was 2006. Since then then I was just treated with painkillers and um, they kept increasing I was taking like tramadol, amitriptyline, plexia, plexia, lyrica, I had to wear patches for the pain all the time and have surgery on my back every four months and it got to the stage in 2018 that I ended up taking 30 painkillers every day and just couldn't function at all um, spent about two years of my life mostly just sleeping on the couch I'd get up in the morning and take 10 painkillers and um, half an hour later I'd fall back asleep and then it was like that in four hour cycles every single day so I couldn't attend university just did all my work from home on the couch and that was it then I decided to try cannabis in 2018 for the first time um, my husband's friend lived in America where it was legal and he used it himself and he said would you not just try it like as a last resort like th th there's no life living on the couch you know so I was like okay so he sent it over it was the first time I'd ever used cannabis I was 35 and um, but it immediately worked for the pain so from the very first night I used it I didn't take my nighttime painkillers which was like amitriptyline and Lyrica but I woke up the next day then and I had the same pain again so I was like oh no but I used the vape again and the same thing happened it just gently got rid of the pain so I decided there and then I was going to come off the rest of the medication so I did um, gradually I reduced them all I went to my GP and I told him look I'm only taking 15 tablets now he couldn't believe the difference in me he was like what are you doing you look so well and I was like cannabis and he was like oh so he'd never prescribed it for anybody and he said I'll see if I can prescribe it for you and I was like okay um, I knew that I needed a pain consultant but my one had just left the HSE to go work privately so my doctor applied three times to get me the license and three times they rejected it and said he needed a pain specialist so I went on the waiting list I was actually really lucky I was on the waiting list for just over a year um, so I came back to Ireland, saw the pain specialist by that time I was taking no medication just using the cannabis for the pain hadn't had any procedures done or anything like that I hadn't even seen the pain consultant since but um, he agreed and he, when he saw me straight away and he saw what medication I'd been taking he said he'd apply for it so he got it then by that time I was still living in Alicante and um, tried to come home and get it dispensed in Ireland only to find out that it wasn't covered on the medical card and that it's a thousand and fifty euro a month which I can't afford because I've a medical card for a reason because you don't earn that much you know um, so that's what we're campaigning for here today. We want the programme to be expanded to include other conditions such as chronic pain. Um, we want it to be either reimbursed on the medical card or the long term illness scheme or the drugs payment scheme. But we also want the programme to be GP led instead of consultant led because of the waiting list for consultants at the moment. Why do you think some individuals in the Department of Health are so resistant to this policy being brought in? I'm not sure to be honest, um, there's overwhelming evidence for the use of cannabis in chronic pain, even more so for some of the conditions that it's already approved. Um, but it, they said, they keep saying that they're going to have the review, but as Gino said, if, if they don't include chronic pain in this next review, then the Med Medical Cannabis Access Programme is just doomed to fail, because that is the next logical step for the next condition to include, because it has the most evidence.